we were going to get a great second half team today. Uh, you, it seems like that, you know, our kids really do a great job of listening, you know, at halftime, and the coaches do an unbelievable job from the press box on the sideline about some of the adjustments we make. But, you know, our, our guys, uh, it's, it's, it's our players that have done it. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of these two guys and the rest of that football team now locker room. Question. Blake, can you talk about the David's play and just how he was able to kind of uh, step up with the running game struggling today? Well, David's done that all year and the offense has done that all year. Uh, you know, that's an awfully good defense we played against today and uh, they proved that. Uh, but we can throw it against anybody. That's a great group of receivers and tight ends. We protect well and David is the, you know, he's not, you know, he's the most accurate. passing efficient quarterback in the country. And, uh, he proved it again today, and you know, not great weather, but a lot of wind, and uh, you know, he, he's unbelievable. Uh, you know, he's he's the, he's the best I've been around, and uh, he's got a heck of a future. Coach, uh, I know you're a defensive guy, but when you were looking at bringing him in last year, was that a guy that you guys said he's going to come in and play right away and lead us to an 11 win? Well, you know, that was our hope. Uh, you know, you never know bringing a guy out of junior college. Uh, you know, his head coach in junior college, a very good friend of mine, and he made contact with us. His name's Mike Rasmussen, and Mike's a great guy and a great coach. And coached at Cal for a lot of years and, uh, you know, a number of places in the Bay Area. And uh, he just said, hey, I got a guy. And, we, you know, we told our offensive coordinator at the time, hey, there's a guy we need to go look at. They went and looked at him and uh, said, that's the guy we want. So, uh, you know, that's a great <laughs> recruiting decision on our part for sure. Benet's block plan. I mean, Benet seems to always make – humongous play for this team and what did that do to just change the tide? Benet is an incredible athlete. You know, he's got great ball skills. I mean, it seems like you get his hands on balls all the time, whether it's a block punt or uh, an interception or tip ball. He's just a tremendous athlete and he plays with zero fear. Um, he Nothing bothers him and he just keeps going. And, uh, you know, that's why he's a great player and uh, he certainly made a, a bunch of plays for us this year. You had some funny misadventures with your own. What happened uh, what happened with uh, our starting punter? Well, I'm not sure the ex exact injury, but it was on that punt where you know, it looked like to me he got roughed, but they didn't call it. And uh, I'm not sure what the injury was, but he's going to be fine. I just saw him in the locker room. But I, I don't know exactly what it was, but our you know freshman kicker came in and had to do all the punting. He did a great job. I mean, you got to hand it to him. You know, you know they brought pressure almost all day, and uh, you know we had a fake up, but I didn't dare call it. <laughs> I wish I would have a couple of times. Coach, you were the first ranked team to play in this particular bowl with right. a five-year history. Right. You win seven straight, you finish it out 11-2. and two. What's that mean to you? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've been in this a long time in a lot of great places, but I honestly say this is in my top two uh, of all-time seasons. You know, from this team being 1-12 two years ago and winning five games a year ago, uh, you know, we could have won another three. I'm not going to say we should have, but we, we could have easily won another three. But then we won those last two last year. We beat Navy at home, and then we went on the road to our very last game after losing. We beat Navy after losing a heartbreaker to Utah State on the road. We come back and beat Navy. We talk about resilient. And then we go back down and beat Fresno State our last game of the season. So now that just took this team off and vaulted this team into the next season. And... Uh, you know, what people don't talk a lot about is we won 13 of our last 15. That's a lot of wins in 15 games. And uh, I don't know what it is from the middle, but anyway, it, it, it's just an unbelievable feeling. When any time you get 10 wins is magical, <clears throat> to get 11 is tremendous. We, you, what, were, what were the things that did happen at halftime that the players listened to? You well, it's just, you know, you know we, we sit down as a staff, offense goes one room, defense goes the other, and we, we talk about some of the things that hurt us maybe and, and just some minor adjustments. It's not a really big deal, but you want to make sure you cover those bases because they could happen to you again. And we've been great at that all year. We've done it every game, and, and uh, we, we have a tremendous coaching staff. We really do. And, uh, you know, offensively they made their adjustments, and, uh, you know, I talked to Brian for a couple minutes, but I don't get my hands on that offense at sure. all. And, well, what about what specifically, though, maybe something we – might have you know, we, we play leverage. You know, defensively, we, we play a little bit le different leverage on a couple things, and okay. uh, you know, we gave up that one run, and you know, I, that's I'll put on me more than anything else because 
of the calls, third and four, and we brought pressure and we didn't hit, we didn't hit it right. But other than that, uh, that was a pretty good game up front. So, you know, it's just it, the little minor things. You know, we, we challenged the receivers. You know, we played a little bit more press. We did some of those things to challenge them. I mean, you know, Jimmy had that interception on the sideline and give it to him, but it looked pretty, pretty close to me. How do I feel about it? I feel like a champion. <laughs> I feel like a champion. Coach, on the first game, uh, Stanford Park will barely beat you guys. How is that game of protection for what season they be? Well, it's a great question. You know, ESPN asked me that you know a couple of days ago, and uh, they you know talked about our season, and uh, you know, uh, and I said, you know, one thing I said is this is a physical football team. We are really physical up front on both sides of the ball, and we lined up and we played Stanford. It was 17-17 in the fourth quarter, and we didn't back down an inch. You know, I think we held them the least amount of rushing yards and total yards the whole season. I think to this point, and. Uh, we practiced a lot. We knew what we wanted to do. And, it, you know, if you, you go back to that Stanford game, their first two drives, they scored. We made some adjustments halftime, and we stopped them. They had two fourth downs. We stopped them. Uh, some crucial third downs. And, you know, and uh, you know, our guys knew after that game that we can play against anybody. And uh, they've proved that. Offensively, same thing. We threw the ball all over the place in that game, and uh, we had our chances to win it. We just didn't. For both players, just I'm sure that Oh my goodness, you know that. Go ahead. Trev Schroeder's first question. Okay. Um, it, meant, it meant so much to all of us just because um, we had been through so much, especially a lot of the older guys. We've been through so much adversities over the, the past couple of years. And to make to 10 and 2 was, was unbelievable. And we were talking about um, just how much better we've been coming, how we've come together as a family. And then. Being able to get this last win was, I call it the cherry on top. It was just that, that finisher to make it, you know, the most memorable, incredible season that we're going to have. And um, especially to, to send all the seniors off that went through a 2-10 and 10 season, went through a 1-12 and 12 season, and just said, you know, we're not going to stop. And it just kind of uh, showed everyone what we were made of as Spartans. And just to send it off next year and let David, you know, lead them to another bowl game next year is just, um, that's what we wanted to do, just to make you know San Jose State the best. Yeah, I'm always, it's always about the seniors, and I'm kind of lucky in reaping the benefits and getting here at a time where all their hard work and all the veterans have been here and had to go through the hard times and do and do all that hard work. Um, so again, this for them. I'm just, I'm just so excited for the coaching staff and, and for the seniors, the people who had to put all in all that hard work. So again, this 11th and being up there with one of the greatest teams is just amazing and speechless. <laughs> Number of distractions in the last few weeks, needless to say. Uh, Coach Mack went away, and they didn't know it was you guy. Talk about how you were able to kind of set that aside and the job that Coach Bear did to keep you guys. <clears throat> yeah, I think um, the biggest thing that happened is uh, the day of, we were kind of, what's going on? What's going to happen next year? You know, we started thinking too much, and we started trying to figure out, okay, what coaches are going to be here, you know, what players are going to be here. And then Coach Bear came in the next day. Um, and he basically told us that it doesn't matter and that what we've set out to do we're going to accomplish and that the coaches were going to give everything they had and we were going to give everything we had. Um, and just by saying that, it, it basically um, stopped all the thoughts of, you know, Coach Mack being gone or, you know, what's going to happen next year because we realized what we have to do right now is get the win and prepare to get the win and work hard and do everything. And it basically, we, we didn't think about Coach Mack. I mean, we still thought about him, but it was, okay, if he's somewhere else, we're going to go and get the win, and we're going to do with what we have. Travis, so when David showed up on, on campus, what did that bring to you guys? Did you guys look at him as, hey, this guy is a guy who's, you know, a better quarterback than we've had here in a little bit? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it, it, it all happened last spring. was, I think, the first time that we were like, wow, David. David can play. We, we had the, the three different quarterbacks kind of going at it to see who's going to get the starting spot. And just by watching David, you know, take control and go out there, oh, just in, in practice and be able to take control, we realized that's what we needed in a quarterback. It's someone that would lead us, you know, no matter what. And then he has a great arm. He, he thinks great. And so um, just having that as a, uh, you know, knowing that we're going to have a solid offense makes it easier on defense. 
and then knowing that we have a solid defense, I think makes it also easier on offense. So, um, you know, he was like that puzzle piece that was able to make everything come together. David, what about today? Today you set up a military goal passing record. You come from behind in this game. You get some help from special teams, but you're able to put two drives together there in that second half and win the game. Yeah, I think it just attests our, our senior leadership and, and the people we have on this team. We're not, we're not, we don't ever give up. No matter what happens, we're gonna keep doing the same things. And and our old line did a great job. If you watch the film, I'm sitting back there going through, getting to my fourth, my fourth regression in a couple of my plays. So that's that's amazing. Um, and our and our receivers are making great plays. They're daily odds catching with one hand and just a lot of great plays out there. So I think it's just a test of the kind of people we have on this team, and we're really resilient. And, not, and a, a big play is not gonna put us down. We're gonna keep going. Both sides of the ball. Yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. My head kind of woke me up from halftime. I was like, all right, now we're ready. I'm warmed up now. So, yeah, that, no, it definitely stunned me a little bit, but kind of woke me up. Travis, one of your final plays really as a, as a Spartan is that, that strip sack. I mean, what, what, what kind of a memory is that right there to, to come up with a big play like that down, down that really kind of won the game for you guys? It's just a memory that I'll never forget. Um, I think it, just after everything we've been through, especially with Anthony getting hurt, um, and in, you know him not being able to be here, I think our D line really took it upon ourselves to to play like he was there and play. And Vi stepped up, and um, Dave Catalano stepped up, and and they were able to 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 play well, and that we were able to to keep playing just as strong and um, and being able to get that play. Um, you know, was able to finish off our year. We were able to you know help us get finish off the game and get the win and. Um, you know, it's one of those memories that I'll never forget. David, uh, Travis talked about the unusual situation of playing with, after the head coach leaves and Ken has to take or what, what was that like for you, I mean, as a quarterback to go uh, through It was that? a little chaotic at first. You know, one of our leaders leaves and we were kind of confused. Um, but it just, again, I kind of tested the people we have on our team right after that meeting. We mm -hmm. found out seniors got up in front of everybody and said it's about us. We're, we're going to stick together. We, we know what we need to do. And then Coach Bear stepped up the next day and just said, we're going to keep doing the same things. It's about us. We need to finish and get this 11th win. Travis, I, I know you've been banged up a little bit, and you, you've tried to downplay how uh, how hurt you've been. But uh, to get this month rest and kind of go out there, do you, you feel like you're full strength? And how good did it feel to be, be a little bit healthier out there and be able to make some plays? Oh, great. You know, my, my, uh, my knee healed a lot over the time. and. Um, especially everyone that's been banged up over the season, you know, getting almost a month off, I think, and being able to, to just recover, rehab, do all that stuff. I mean, we have an incredible training staff um, to get you better and being able to come in after some time off, being able to rest it and then be able to play. I think it, it helped me and everyone else out a lot. David, can you talk a little bit about your receivers? They, they made some real strong plays after the game. made some nice moves out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, having those guys out there along with Ahn and P, it's like you, there's no doubt. Go, I can go to anybody and, and know they're gonna win. I don't have to second guess through my progressions or anything. Any any one of them will win, and there's no doubt. I'll throw it up to any one of them. So having it's it's yeah, it's crazy having all those guys out there who can make those crazy plays. So it's definitely nice. Coach, uh, what, what was the message like after the game? I know uh, pretty pretty emotional time for you, I'm sure right now. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> I didn't cry, <laughs> but I wanted to. But I, I, I stood tall, took a couple deep breaths, and uh, you know, I, it, it's been a little emotional the last few days with this group, knowing that this is the last time this group will ever be together. You know, and that's the nature of football anyway, no matter any last game of the season. But there's going to be a few more changes than normal, if you understand what I mean. But uh, you know, I just told the team, and I and I thank the coaches, uh, you know, for what they've done. Because they've been incredible through this, uh, and they deserve all the credit, uh, along with those players, and then everybody else involved with this program. Uh, you know, that was just the message. And you know, to, to to win 11 games and be considered the greatest team ever in San Jose State history is basically the message we talked about. That was our goal, and that's what we told them. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of them. Uh, it's just one of those magical moments, and you got to live and you got to enjoy the moment. So, and that's what we talked about. You don't think those guys from the 1941 team will contest? What's that? You don't think the guys from the 1941 team will contest? That well, they you come, <laughs> contested it, but that's all right. You know, we'll play them. <laughs> no, I, you know, they, they had some great teams back then, but you know, in the modern football history, it's a great football team. Yeah. Uh, 
the, the um, yes, uh, your tight end took a big hit there at the start. Got back up, caught a ball right on the next series. Is that? kind of make a statement right there? Well, that's the kind of player he is, first of all. You know, he's been that way his whole career. Mm -hmm. But that shows the resiliency of this football team, the toughness of this team. And, you know, that you know David knows and the rest of the offense knows they're going to come back to him and he knows he's going to catch the ball. And, you know, uh, you know, it just – it does it didn't surprise me that he came back and, and, and caught the very next one at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't at all. In fact, we were talking about on the phones, let's, let's get the ball back to, to Ryan. He'll, he'll, mm -hmm. he'll, he'll, he'll catch it. You know, it's a good hit. Big hit, and that's what happens sometimes over the middle. Travis, I know you, you guys came into the season feeling like you could beat anybody that was on your schedule, but I mean, did you realistically think 11 wins was something that could actually happen? You know, that's one of the things that that you never you never know. You know, everyone prepares the same way. Everyone gets ready, works hard in the off season, does all of that to hope that they get you know that incredible season. And I think. Um, what, what really made it stand out that, yeah, we're going to do it is just from the start of camp, everyone just seemed to work a little harder. You know, it was the talk, like, everyone's working right now, but how much harder are you working? And that's one thing I think we took pride in, and we really made an effort to work harder than anyone else that would be working. And then, um, especially after the Stanford game, seeing, you know, the change from last year to this year in points, and, and then being able to just start going on a run and getting these wins, um, we just, we, I think we all saw that we could do it. You know, we all knew it, and we were seeing it now instead of just thinking it. And then it just kept happening and happening. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that you feel, and that when you start doing, you know it. And that's, that's when I knew it. David, you guys got your first win on the East Coast earlier this year against Navy, one in San Diego for the first time in like 16 years. Today you passed over 4,000 yards, or you're passing one past 4,000 yards. Uh, what do you think about the future of this program? You know, we're going to keep it going. We got a lot of people coming back, and um, you know, those, yeah, those are. But our own line's doing a great job. Those records and stuff and everything. Our own line, it's they're doing such a great job, and our receivers are making plays. But they're, and, and they're coming back. Four of the five are coming back, and and all four receivers are coming back, and the last running backs coming back. So it's going to be it's going to be a good year next year too. One more question. Because you look like someone who's really going to miss these guys. Me. Yeah. Oh. I am. Uh, you know, it was a pretty emotional meeting last night. Uh, you know, with the entire team there, with the defense, I love these kids. And, uh, they mean the world to me. And I am going to listen. So. David, Travis, sum up. What did you prove today? What did you guys prove today? Players. Well, you can have an opinion, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what we proved today was just, I think, you know, Coach Mazzara, the resilience. You know, who we are and, and just the team that we've built over the years. It just shows that, you know, no matter what people say about you, because, um, you know, I don't, I don't think we've ever been respected like we should have been. You know, they've looked at San Jose State on the, on the, the schedule and been like, okay, you know, it's a beatable game. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we all wanted to change. No one ever wants to be, you know, looked at as someone that's easy to beat. And that's something that we all took pride in, and we were all, we're going to go out there and be the team that people don't want to play because they think they're going to lose. We want people to look at us and, and respect us no matter, no matter what. And I think especially getting, you know, top 24 right now, maybe higher, you know, doing these things that most people, many of the people never thought possible, except for the people that we had. Um, it just sums it all up. And, yeah. David? Yeah, I think it just kind of attests that team we are. We're a resilient team. You know, we lose, we lose our head coach, and we got a month off, and we're still the kind of players that we have. We come together, and we're going to keep working. And, and we put in a, a good month and three weeks working and came out and played just as well. So I think it just kind of attests that we are a top 25 team, and we're one of the greats. So um, I think just trying to earn the respect and be one of those top 25 teams and one of the greatest in San Jose State history. Kent, you want to answer that question? You want to answer that question? What do you think this team proved today? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I can say it better. Most of you guys did. They're okay. Just, uh, you know, their mental toughness has changed. So, you know, t two years ago, they wanted to win. They didn't know how to win. Last year, they kind of figured it out. Mm -hmm. They know how to win. Mm -hmm. You know, I think again, it started with those last. And it might have started the Utah State game when we lost to Postman against a really good team that we very easily could have won. 
Might have started then, but to go do that those last two games and then what we've done this season, I, I think it started back then.